Today in the video, we will see the simple state motorcycles. They are called Scouts. Are you hard working machines? Let's find out what they are capable of. Hi there, as usually it's me, just a voiceover, you are watching review machines and these are new ATV bike scouts. To my mind it's really interesting vehicles, they can be relevant for many purposes. The matter is, they are very affordable, but quite effective at the same time. They can make a lot of good both for work and recreational tasks. Today we will check how they are made. And then we will make some exciting tests. But before that, please consider subscribing the channel, my friends, it's really important for us. Thank you. Well, these guys will help me today to test these bikes. But first of all, a few words about how they look. The design, as we can see, the simplest. There is nothing for decoration, just the most important for the effective work. By the way, today we are going to test these bikes with special trailers, rear and side one. But we'll do that a bit later, and now let's look how they are actually built. The construction of the bike is very simple and lightweight, as any scout. Its weight is 108 kilos, and we see here 25 inch ATV wheels, so the scouts seem to be made for rear off roading. There are two seats. But the bike isn't big. There is single cylinder engine, 200 cc, 15 hp, air cooled, that is called zonction. The gearbox is mechanical with five gears. There is both kickstarter and electric one. Let's get it started. Well, I like old school Kickstarter so much, it's always possible to start the engine even with a weak battery, but the electric starter is so comfy. It's good to see here a full suspension system for rear and front wheels, cause some analogs often don't have suspension. There are front and rear lights. The fender are made of plastic. This bike can be used with rear trunk and trailer. It has a cargo platform 120 to 60 cm. Moreover, we have a side trailer for the bike. In our case, we have another bike with 250cc engine and a gearbox with rear drive. It's an essential feature for a side trailer. By the way, it's also equipped with a suspension and cargo platform is the same, 120 to 60 cm. Officially, these trailers can be used only to transport cargoes, but we wanted to try it so much, so let's go. By the way, it's rather comfy in a trailer, but you'd better not do the same. The trailer is only for cargo. And now it's high time to hit the road. By the way, the other day we made a review of all-wheel drive version of this bike. If you missed that video, check it. That was a really interesting. I'll put the link in the comments. But that bike is cut out to overcome hard off-roading, and these scouts are more versatile and much cheaper, but about the prices a bit later. If you drive the bike without trailers, it's even able to provide you some fun. It's rather swift and comfortable due to the good suspension. But what's about maximum speed? Let's go to the asphalt to check it. As we remember, the bike with a side trailer has 250cc engine, but we didn't want to take off the trailer, so let's check the speed on 200cc bike. Mm -hmm. 
The mud tires are definitely not the best variant for the test. Besides, the bike is new and can't show the maximum performance. Nevertheless, we managed to hit 94 km per hour. I think it's a decent result for a mud bike. Well, as we can see, this bike is cheap and simple, but rather swift and comfortable. But with trailers, it can be also very practical. In this way, we can get a good vehicle for work, hunting and fishing, some work in farms and so on. But it's a bit harder to drive the bike with a trailer. You shouldn't go fast with it. And you should maneuver carefully driving with a side trailer, cause it's easy to roll over with the thing. Despite the engines are quite small, we have enough power for the most cases. Even under load, 200cc engine provides a decent speed. By the way, the passengers say it's rather comfortable to go on a side trailer due to the suspension. Though, as we can remember, it's designed only for cargos. Frankly speaking, the suspension here is the cheapest. Don't expect much from it. It has a short travel, and we noticed that rear suspension was too soft for driving with a passenger. You can see it here when we cross an rut. Well, let's make some more tests, but this time without a trailer. Let's go to the forest. Now we are moving across the woods in search of off-roading. This bike will go with a side trailer, and this scout will do without it. As we can remember, at a high speed it's not comfy to maneuver with a side trailer, but on cross-country it's more stable and safe. But the light scout is more maneuverable. It's easier to overcome some obstacles on it, like fallen trees. The ground clearance is pretty good. And the forest road turns into a real dirt. That is why we lower the pressure in the tires before we move on. Yes, we have only a real drive in our inventory, but scouts are quite capable in dirt. We have rather big wheels with mud tires. Besides, we have a good ground clearance, little weight and mechanical gearbox. As a result, we are moving on, slow and sure. As a matter of fact, it would be much easier to pass by this dirt. We can move among the trees, so it's possible almost on every time. Going off-roading is a hard test for the bike. For example, on this test we bent the gearbox lever and broke the key in the ignition gear, and the chain was stretched and came off. Thanks to the rear drive, it's easy to put it back. Here it is, our most complicated obstacle. Even all-wheel drive quads prefer to pass by this deep puddle with swampy mud. If you remember, we got stuck here on a quad in our previous video. Meantime, we see Scout trying to get over this ditch, but it's too much for a little bike.
Rider now tries to pull it out, thanks it's rather light, and it's possible to do that on your own. And now it's time for a side trailer. Frankly speaking, we didn't expect any success at all. But to our surprise, it shows a good result here. It's hot, but it's moving on. Well, it was a tough test, but now it's time to speak about the prices. Scout bike costs about $2000. The trailers cost about $300 for each. Let's go today, my friends. Thanks for having a ride with us. Please post your comments. What do you think of these bikes? Consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us. There will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.